first off, um, we're in a really crazy time right now, and we're just wondering if you give if you can give fans an update on how you're doing in isolation. Uh, we're doing really well. Yeah, we're um obviously it's crazy. By the way, we have two here. By yeah, the way. We're <laughs> and then Lila's here. So the whole family. That's how we're doing. The whole family's here. Um, so yeah, we've been doing pretty good with um, yeah everything going on. Obviously, it's it's crazy what's happening in the world right now. Um, but Tori and me, yeah, we're doing fine. We're just loving hanging out as a family. Obviously, we feel for everyone that, you know, are out of a job and, you know, are obviously suffering with the virus and things of that nature. But um, so far, Tori and me have been pretty blessed. And, we, yeah, we've been handling it pretty, pretty well. Um, and you guys have a newborn and a toddler. What are some tips you can give to other parents who are also currently in a similar situation? Ooh. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, Tori and me just bounce it off really well. Like, we take turns. I My phrase is, um, <laughs> you're no longer playing zone defense. It's man-to-man. -man. Yeah. So, I'll take Jackson. She'll take Lila or vice versa. Uh, awesome. And then uh, we, have to, we have to ask for an update. How is life with being parents of two now? Yeah, it's, it's good. Yeah, it's yeah. great. We love it. We're, we love being parents. Um, we have two awesome, adorable kids. And Lila started out a little bit rougher than Jackson than yeah. Jackson did. But You'll see some of that. You know, but she's turning into a fun little girlsy that we love hanging out with. And Jackson's been such a great big brother and helper around the house. And so it's been it's been a good transition. And I, I feel like for Zach and I, it's like this is this is kind of just our zone. Like this yeah. is what we were meant to do, and we are we are ready for it. And and uh yeah we're just having fun with it yeah awesome Mama. this is the 20th season of the series did you guys ever expect that this show would be going on for so long and we've really seen especially for you zach you grow up through all the years no i don't think anyone saw it going this far back then we were just kids and we were just doing stuff that like my mom and dad told yeah. us to do you know hey cameras gonna be at our house they're gonna show us they're gonna film our life and we just keep doing what we do and that's kind of how it started. And then as you get older, you start recognizing what this actually means and everything. And now I think we have a healthy appreciation for it. Like, we definitely realize it is really cool having a show that's been on for so long. And we've obviously, we've got to meet a lot of cool play people. We've got to go a lot of cool places. Um, and we've just brought new, new family members in. And it's, yeah, it's been fantastic. And then can you kind of tease what's going to, what fans are going to be able to get to see on this season? See some tears. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that, you know, I think, you know, we obviously get to share Lila, our story about Lila coming into the world and, and how, how Jay kind of transitioned into being a big brother. Um, and that, like, I think that was our biggest thing this year is, you know, just having another kid. And you'll see some of my pregnancy and, you know, which is not the most fun thing to share. But I feel like it was like, you know, it's a cool story. There's ups and downs, though. The farm goes through some change. We have a big, one of our big structures actually ends up coming down in one of the, in one of the, um, one of the episodes. Um, and then, yeah, Lila coming in whenever you have, a, you know, someone that, dwarfism or any baby that has maybe you know different issues everything is a little bit more hypersensitive yeah. um so yeah you just follow us on that that journey yeah and then we did see an upcoming clip from the next episode it was pretty emotional of you two at the doctor's office learning about your daughter what was that experience like for you yeah i think it was i think it was a little more it was more difficult this time around i think finding out well, first of all, just finding out I'm having a girl, I think was like, you know, girls are just so much more emotional and we're so much more, you know, like, whatever. And so I think for me, it was like wrapping my brain around having a girl, but then also having a little girl with dwarfism is like a whole nother realm. And I know, I, like, we knew our chances of having a dwarf and we're, we were okay with that. Um, but I think it, it did take me a little bit longer to like process it. Yeah, summer. some of them. And we found out a lot earlier this time. Usually they don't indicate that to you until like 36 weeks. We found out at 20, like 20 weeks. And so part of that was like, a whoa, yeah. you know, 
does it ever get easier filming these types of emotional scenes, knowing that the whole world is going to see what happens in your personal lives? Yeah, like I, I'm, I'm, Tori and me are pretty open. Like we're, you, what you see is what you get. Yeah. You know. But also, I, I feel like we have just a really great crew that feels like family, and so sometimes when we share things, it's not, it doesn't feel weird. It's not until it, like you see a preview of yourself like crying on television, yeah. and you're like, oh yeah, like I forgot that I'm going to everyone. It's it's part of the showing the story too. You can't yeah. just show them. You, it's not just your filtered, you know, social media life. Like yeah. we're trying to show our real life, and that's that's part of it. You got the ups and downs, and not even downs. It's just you got the more emotional yeah. experiences. One thing that's remained constant is your fans. They've always been so supportive of you. What's it like getting that kind of feedback and knowing that your fans will always be behind your backs? Yeah, it's great. Fans, yeah, we, we have a lot of great fans that have been with us for a really long time. New fans have come along the way, too. Um, it's great. We experience a lot of them at, our, at the Roloff Farms pumpkin season in October, and that's always a fun time to connect from people from all over the United States and, honestly, the world. And then, yeah, through social media and things like that, um, it's great that, yeah, you just have a group of people that have your back and, you know, are supporting you. And, and I think yeah. that the fans have made, that's why we do what we do as well. I mean, like, we wouldn't share, we wouldn't share things if people weren't, like, interested, I guess, you know? We have such a great fan base that is so supportive and so like just fun to share our lives with so I think that that helps a lot too. I saw that you posted a really fun TikTok with a bunch of your family members from far away. How did you come up with that idea? Um well I have to be honest it was not my idea it was from TikTok but um it was just like you know I've been I just downloaded TikTok once this quarantine thing happened and so it's been you know kind of an entertainment thing for me and we've missed our friends so much and you can't, we can't hang out with them at all. And so we were just kind of like, what can we do that we can see our friends and like still be self isolated, but have fun and you know, do something new. So it was just like a fun idea. We videotaped them from the driveway and it was, it was fun. <laughs> That's so fun. Um, and then last question, a lot of people right now are binge watching Little People Big World. What are some things that you guys have been binge watching while in isolation. Oh, the office. Yeah, we're the not office. huge TV people. We like, well, no, we, go I've been watched. The same, we go back to the same thing, like the yeah. office. And the office is always a good I've one. been watching Disney Plus, like, all, I'm a huge Disney fan, so yeah. I've been watching a lot of Disney Plus. We're, now with the kids, you know, we watch, you know, we've watched Frozen, Toy Story more than Toy once. Story. <laughs> yeah. 